it has been, is over. Things anymore. It's all What are we for then? We're going to sue you. Immediately, permanent, permanent, permanent. The man who thinks must think and act on his own. A middle ground or chamber where divine wisdom and truth reside. There you will find Radio Free Humanity. In this middle chamber, we will explore the territories and bounds of social engineering, mind control, government conspiracies and cover-ups, hidden symbolisms, and the global power elites, occulted manipulations of our world. Join Radio Free Humanity as we challenge the ruling paradigm and train our awareness in a most novel and abstract manner to view reality from an entirely different perspective. And now, your hosts, Frater X and Jack Marshak. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our show, the first ever live broadcast of Radio Free Humanity, American Freedom Radio Network. Radio Free Humanity will come to you every Saturday night, 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, American Freedom Radio is found at www.americanfreedomradio.com. Now, this show's website is www.radiofreehumanity.com, and it's currently being rerouted to my blog site. Uh, there you'll find the chat line, middlechamber dot chitango dot com and that chat line is embedded there as well and we're routing that to my blog until the website construction is complete thank you to html sam you can check out he's our web designer you can check out his work at http colon forward slash forward slash your character is your fate dot blogspot dot com i would also like to personally thank the musical ensemble systemic for that awesome introduction tonight. I'm honored to use this track for our first show, and be sure to visit that band's Facebook page at Systemic, which is spelled C-Y, it's capital C-Y-S-T-E-M-I-C. Wow, this is such an exciting time. I mean, we are really excited about this. We're glad to be here. We, we feel such an honor and a privilege to be speaking to you tonight, and be coming here weekly, and to come together as a forum and exchange ideas and search for truth. Uh, the, today is June 25th, the 235th year of American independence. And it's the day before my 41st birthday, for one thing. So it's sort of like a preeminent birthday present in here. I'm really excited about that. And also, yesterday was the Feast of St. John. Tuesday is the 21st. Uh, Tuesday, the 21st, was the summer solstice where... The sun stands still. That's where we get the term soul stiff, soul standing still, or soul still. And we are approaching a solar eclipse on July 1st. That's pretty exciting and remarkable. Uh, Dan Brown's birthday was the 22nd. That is also <laughs> remarkable for those of us who enjoy his work. Uh, and my grandmother's birthday was the 24th. That was, uh, that's Midsummer's Day. Uh, happy birthday, Nana. Another Amazing little detail here. George Orwell was born today in 1903. Now, there's a remarkable coincidence to my liking. So the debut of our first show, Radio Free Humanity, and the birth of George Orwell. Well, how about that? Well, it's time. It is the time of growth, and that is what we are in, the time of growth. Midsummer is the midpoint of the growth cycle, halfway between planting and harvesting, according to the old farmer's almanac established in 1792. So that's something to consider. You know, we're, th this show is like uh, uh, the planting of a seed and the hope that we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to have uh, much growth and have something to harvest at the end of this. You know, we have, I really feel like it's a quickening for us, and 
we're moving towards uh, a greater understanding and hopefully greater freedom for all. Now, I just want to take a few moments and mention what we'll be covering with this radio project, Radio Free Humanity. Now, we will, of course, continue our critical analysis and commentary on current issues that we're following, such as the global power elite shenanigans, occult symbolisms in media, uh, exploring alternative energy, technology, and healing. Uh, we are also do many varieties of ancient and forbidden knowledge and wisdom. Of course, the underground history of American education as laid out in the work of the same name by John Taylor Gatto. There's so much here to explore, and uh, he is uh, he was actually on uh, Red Eyes Creations. I know many of you are familiar with this website, and they had him on last month, and I got to tell you, anybody who didn't catch that interview, it was a crash course in the history of social engineering, basically tra uh, tracked from 16, about the 16th century to the present, and it was just uh, something else, so you really want to check that out. And we'll also be, you know, there's so much more. We'll be scheduling many exciting guests like author and mystic visionary John Lamb Lash, who joined us on The Free Zone. He's from metahistory.org. Uh, as soon as we can secure a specific Saturday uh, in July with Mr. Lash, we'll let you all know. Now, here's another really exciting event. The second week in July, I'm hoping myself and Mater X and our oldest son, we're hoping to be traveling to Philadelphia to attend the Tesla Energy Independence Celebration, which is in honor of Tesla's birthday, which I believe was July 9th. Uh, this is uh, an excellent opportunity. If you want to find out more about what's going on, I think it's from the 7th to the 10th or the 11th, and you can go to www.teslasciencefoundation.org, and there you will find uh, all the information about all the events, the speakers, the topics, it's an amazing event going on there, and uh, I, I, I really recommend that you check that out. Um, where I'm going to go there and conduct some interviews, especially with Mark Passio. Uh, I think a lot of you are probably familiar with Mark. He's uh, on Intel Hub, and he's also got his own website, www.whatonearthishappening.com, which is, in fact, uh, the, he has a show of the same name on Oracle Broadcasting Network on, on Sunday evenings. He, Mark Passio, is one of the coordinators in this uh, series of events that are going on at the Tesla Science Foundation is putting on uh, in Philadelphia. <clears throat> so it's really exciting. We want to go out there and do a live uh, on-location broadcast, uh, have some interviews, take some audio samples, also pictures, obviously. They're going to demonstrate Tesla coils, they're going to – it's just an exciting chance to uh, explore alternative energy sources. They're going to talk about uh, anti-gravitational propulsion systems and, of course, all a variety of uh, alternative uh, uh, energy, and uh, it's just going to be so exciting. So, anyways, uh, uh, one last thing we wanted to say, and that, you know, the goal of this show is not just to point out what's wrong with the world and the evil which rules our human species, it seems – because you know there's plenty of there's plenty of evidence of these things and we can talk about them a lot but we also want to consider other more positive and proactive solutions to life's great woes you know and we will explore ways of liberation from the grips of social engineering and media mind control now identification being a key step in, in this overall process of uh, reintegration of the of the consciousness really and self actualization you know, action is needed and that is the thought of what can we do, you know? And so we want you, our listeners, to feel a certain sense of, uh, of a, a social obligation to participate in our discoveries, you know? That we might together chart a new course through this quagmire and that we hope we, you will call in, you know, and help to complete the image, you know, help to connect the dots. And we all are going to be facing great challenges and choices in the future that is you know, that's one thing that we can count on. That is for certain. And so we are hopefully in the second half going to open up phones and uh, open up the call line. So when we do, that number, I'll, I'll be giving it out later, but I'll just give it right now just so everybody gets a chance, is 402-237-2525. Just write that down or 
make a note of that. Uh, the call lines aren't open right now, so don't even bother trying to call in yet. But eventually, uh, you can call in and on the second hour. Um, so uh, be sure to check out uh, Radio Free Humanity blog, uh, which is what is acting as our website for now. You'll see some information there. And uh, at this time, I want to turn over the microphone to my co-host and good friend, Jack Marshak. Are you there, brother? Not only am I the hair club president, I am also <laughs> a client. <laughs> good evening, Jack. How are you? I'm excellent, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. I'm on top of the world. I, I, yeah. I can't think of a better, better place to be right now. Totally, totally. I love those intros that you do, uh, that you've done in the past and you did for this show, and, and I hope you continue to do those. I really enjoy those. So, hey, um, I know you jumped forward to the future a little bit. Uh, let's, with this first episode, kind of lay a groundwork with what we plan on doing. So let's kind of go... Um, Sort of in the way that we understand time, basically. Like, let's take a look at the past and take a look at the present of our show and take a look at the future, like you already touched upon with what we plan on doing with the show. So let's maybe a brief outline of what we'll do in this first hour is start off with, uh, well, first we heard that excellent introduction and then let's kind of review our history as radio show hosts. And from there, we'll go into the present and look at our statement of purpose, our dedication with the show. And from there, we can go to what our current MO would be, our modus operandi, and how we plan on conducting the show, what our format would be. And with that format, uh, you touched upon solutions. We definitely do want to be solutions-based radio. We have to recognize negativity that goes on so that we can ultimately transcend it and circumvent it and go beyond negative things that keep us tied down into less-than-optimum realities. And, you know, part of the solutions are our listeners and our callers. And they have a part to play, too, to help us out because, you know, listeners and future callers, you may figure something out that me and Freighter X miss. So it's going to be up to you. You know, you have a duty and obligation to help out other people by calling in and sharing your ideas and your perspectives because someone listening may need to hear exactly what you have to share. And then ultimately uh, we'll discuss that, uh, you know, we need to be open to change. This show isn't going to be static. We may change it up in the future. We may start out and then, you know, say, well, this doesn't work, this works. So we may change things. So we, we don't want to be, we don't want to be tied down to any one kind of thing. So starting out with our history as radio show hosts, I know it was a uh, Freeman Fly who brought you into the game. And then you brought me in. So let's kind of review those uh, seven episodes that you were on on Freeman's show and then the uh, six episodes that, that uh, well, I guess I was on five of them with you. But uh, So let's kind of review all those. I think that was February 26th that you had your first interview with Freeman and you were discussing your perspective as an initiate into secret societies and the occult and I know you've been a, a student of uh, magic and the occult for quite a long time. And I remember discussing with you and Mater X, you're, you were like a Freemasonic scholar before you ever joined. And um, so what do you have to say about that interview you did with Freeman on February 26th of this year? Well, first, uh, it's it's remarkable to me because for – about two weeks, right up until a couple days before the interview, I may have be, been more than two weeks. I had lost my voice. I had some sort of like uh, allergy attack, sinus infection, and it turned into like laryngitis. And I couldn't talk. I was literally whispering for weeks, it seemed. And I was in a sheer panic that my voice wasn't going to come back before the <laughs> the event of coming on Freeman's show. So that was one thing. And when I came on the show, my, you can hear my voice is very uh, hoarse. You know, it, 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 it sounds like I'm straining in some places. And I think that actually helped to generate the controversy concerning uh, whether or not I was the same William Morgan from the uh, William Cooper interview because the, my voice was uh, slightly different, you know, 
than it is normally. But uh, and it sounded a lot more like that voice that everyone had speculated was me, which uh, we've already covered that topic. But uh, we might go into that a little bit later. But anyways, uh, what the one thing I can remember about the show that uh, I think was uh, I really tried to impress, and I don't feel like I really conveyed it uh, did did it justice was uh, trying to. Uh, uh, break down and uh, present uh, an idea of secrecy as a practical application in uh, in in the work that's laid out, which I would call, for better of a lack term, lack a uh, better term, uh, so the the program or the quest of self actualization or total integration of the self. And uh, so it's one of those things that uh, I, I I was trying to describe the. The mechanics of secrecy as a distinct process of separating certain ideas and words from everyday language and everyday exchange and uh, conversation. But I was having quite a difficulty doing it because all I could do to try to, uh, you know, convey the message was to try to, I was trying to quote from the works of John Michael Greer, but I ended up just, I don't know, I, I feel like I couldn't really convey it, do it justice, per se. So hopefully that's something that we can look into further here. And it doesn't. It's not exclusively, you know, about Freemasonry or about any kind of specific magical system. But it's the idea of secrecy in general and the way that he uh, breaks it down. And there's there's really something there that I think deserves to have a second look. But uh, anyways, uh, I uh, okay. Go ahead. Oh no, go on. Oh okay. Um, and so, you know, that having said that, I am very proud of that first interview and I think that it did uh, open the door and uh, we stepped in. We also didn't get a chance to really elaborate on the secret war inside Freemasonry which was something that we had uh, had promoted for the show and, and it's only because I felt like we needed to get through background and lay a, lay a foundation and a structure in order to approach the subject. So it's something we barely approached in the most recent appearance I had on the Free Zone in promotion of this show, and I think that it's something where we can definitely go into it in more greater detail, and it's something that will, I'm sure that callers and listeners will inspire me to speak about it from their own interests in the subject, because it's a very big interest, you know, there's a lot of interest in the subject. That's about all I would say about that first show, Jack. Okay. Now, I know we're coming up on a break here in a little bit, but I, then I know uh, Freeman went on the road, and so he asked you to guest host for him. So I think that was March the 5th was the first show. Yes. Oh, well, here we are coming into our break, so we'll get back into reviewing the past right after our break. Now you and your family and friends can enjoy the cleanest, most delicious, and healthy drinking water anytime, even while traveling, camping, at sporting events, or in emergency situations. The Berkey Light removes bacteria, cysts, parasites, and harmful chemicals to below detectable levels. It also reduces nitrates and unhealthy minerals like lead and mercury, while leaving in the beneficial and nutritional minerals your body needs. Berkey Light is so powerful, it can even purify raw, untreated water from remote lakes and streams. And the optional PF2 filters even remove fluoride. The Berkey Light LED, with its rechargeable lighting system, can be used as a nightlight or a camp light. To view or purchase your Berkey Water System and replacement filters, please visit American Freedom Radio's website at AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click the Berkey banner. Once again, that's AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click the Berkey Water Banner. Not yet available in Iowa. This July 4th, come join patriots from all across the great land in eastern Pennsylvania for Freedom Palooza, a three-day festival of music and great speakers. Come party with the likes of former Congressman Jim Trafficker. Man, they railroaded that guy. Mark and Rose. Hey, I saw him in Freedom to Fascism. You want great rock? We got it. How about the most influential, hardest-working band in the movement today? Poker Freeze. We got the Amaro. Turn the ballot. And killer. Doug Hall. Punch your enemy. The Grunts. Kinetic Blue. Secret System Band. Scrap Metal Bomb. Rebel Inc. Man, that's a lot of bands. Get out of 
shooting the stars along the Delaware River like our founding fathers did before the Battle of Trenton. What else are you going to do this 4th of July? Sit around with family members you hate? Listen to your fat uncle tell the same stories he tells every year? No way, man. I'm going to Freedom Palooza. Go to FreedomPalooza.com for all the details. That's FreedomPalooza.com. Freedom Palooza. Are you suffering from issues related to angina pain, high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, unbalanced cholesterol, irregular heartbeats, clogged arteries? If so, you are not alone. Millions of people are suffering from one or more of these problems. If you'd like to live your life free of sickness, pain, and fear, live your life with increased vitality, energy, and youthfulness, and experience your body healing itself, then this might be the most important message you'll ever hear. An effective 100% organic nutritional supplement is now available. Heart and Body Extract is an exclusive formula of wild-crafted and organic herbs. It is extremely effective and starts to work within days. Get your Heart and Body Extract today by visiting heartandbody.com or by calling 866-295-5305, 866-295-5305 or heartandbody.com. My name's John. I've been having problems with my blood pressure for years. My doctors tried everything without much success. I heard about Extendivite from a friend and thought, why not give it a try? It's been three months now. My doctor's very pleased with how my blood pressure is finally coming down. I have a lot more energy than I've had in a long time. It's working for me. For 12 years now, I've been helping people. My name is Don Wiskin, and I want you to know Extendivite works. If you're looking for more energy or just want to be as healthy as you can, now is the time to join the growing list of real people benefiting from Extendivite. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extendivite. You're listening to the future of talk. American Freedom Radio. This is American Freedom Radio. Freedom Files. Freedom Files. Weekday, Files. Monday through Friday from 3 to 5 p.m. Central. On American Freedom Radio. 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 And uh, thank you for sticking with us here uh, on uh, Radio Free Humanity on American Freedom Radio. Uh, we actually have a very special guest on the line that wanted to just come on and uh, just say hi. And he's a trooper for the truth tonight, Freeman. Hey, that's going to be a tongue twister, isn't it? Radio <laughs> Free Humanity on American Freedom Radio. Radio Free Humanity on American Freedom Radio. I could do it. Maybe I'll yeah, just yeah, say yeah. It nice rhythm. <laughs> I'll be able to say AFR, and you know, I'll say American Freedom Radio at the beginning of the hours. Anyways, how's it going, Freeman? Things are good. I'm I'm having a lot of fun. We're uh, transforming our lives here, trying to form an entirely new paradigm where creative play is the the norm and work the <laughs> the rare. Right, uh, right on. That's awesome. It's working. It's working. So uh, I hope people will take heart and start to to just follow their hearts instead of their wallets. That's the big message, you know, and that's the one we're all needing to wake up to. That's part of the whole, you know, the choices that we have to make in life and the changes that we have to go through. Absolutely. Well, I wanted to come on and say congratulations to being here on American Freedom Radio. I'm really excited about all the things that you guys are going to do, and I'm glad that you'll have the time to really get in depth on the the war inside of secret societies so that people can understand more of how this all works because, you know, this has all been hidden from us. 
We've got tales from Walt Disney showing us the Sons of Liberty tossing the tea into the water, but never once showing you that they'd walked out of the, the Jack and Lodge or whichever it may have been and uh, shown themselves as Masons. So now this historical part of our history or, you know, this is major part of our history is, is coming to light. And it needs to be tempered with reason and wisdom uh, before people start more witch hunts. Absolutely. Yes. You know, and Freeman, something that you said, too, about uh, going into depth about the, the struggle, which is, could be considered a war against consciousness, is, is one that is like a microcosmic example of the macrocosmic problem in our society as a whole. Because it's the same war that's going on within these secret societies that's going on within the non-secret society as a whole. And that's kind of the war. whole, the whole idea of we keep it secret or we don't. Well, the whole idea of of consensual reality being controlled by the few to lead the many in the direction that that's been pre-approved by some you know ages old program. And you then know? everybody wants to know about the opposing force. We look at this situation and we say, okay, we have these elite, we have these practitioners of magic that are controlling all the structure of civilization but if this be true then obviously there's a group that's just as powerful but good absolutely and and the and the greatest thing i think you touched upon it a little bit when you were talking to uh what was it inception radio what was the name of that show that you're on before yeah, future the future theater future theater and and they asked you well what what do you mean by uh you know they were wanting you to describe what you meant by creative play and 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 you, it was like a moment where I was like, wow, you know, it's not surprising that that she needs a little bit more elaboration there because that's what they've, you know, our consciousness has been so limited in this society as far as like, how how do you play, you know? And and in reality, I buy into the notion, the Gnostic belief, that <clears throat> that there is at the end of all this, at the moment of truth, when the dark powers that are orchestrating their agenda, when they realize their their work is consummated. At that moment, according to the Gnostics, they've predicted humanity will shrug it all off and choose another novel path. And that's that creative play you're talking about. That humanity, we, we, they know we possess the power in this very moment to free ourselves. We have the key within us. And it's just a matter of realization. That's all that Buddha was saying. Realization. You know, realize. I mean, enlightenment is the same thing as realization. It's, it's to be, to have you know, an awakening to have the awareness be, you know, the light thrown on something dark that was unaware. But, uh, Jack, what about you? Do you have something you want? Oh. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh. I was going to say that I'm searching right now through a book known as Child Craft. Uh, if that's not scary enough, I mean, you know, for me it is. Uh, is that Horace Mann? Did Horace Mann write that one? <laughs> this is uh, writings that they, they would put out from... Uh, into schooling from educational corporations. Okay. And this, we, we collect these things from the library, such as the crickets and these child craft. Now, that's very German, like kinder craft and kinder care and the whole idea of the craft, right? You guys sure. understand that word. Uh, well, in this, as you start to read what they're teaching to the children on certain ideas, and I grabbed the wrong one, they're getting deep into the esoteric arts. And so in their depiction of the pentagram, as they explain it in this child craft children's uh, educational learning tool, it first asks you, have you ever wanted to be a member of a secret society with a secret handshake and grip? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wow. not lying. And I could go on. Is It depicts the pentagram and explains its purpose and meaning within the occult. And so right at the beginning, at the, the generation of our reality is this occult order. Crafting the language, mathematics, the time, the social structure, the buildings, you know, the aesthetic terrorism, and, and therefore every function of our genetic structure in a way. Wow. And that was, uh, what was the year on that book that was written and when? Sorry, I thought I'd try and find the right one. I... You know oh, how we are with our libraries, but um, uh, yes, I do. I'm surrounded by one. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they they need to study. This is 1975 Childcraft Annual: The Magic of Words. 
so the, the gloves had come it, off. You know, it's our generation, Generation X, because I was five years old then, you know. The gloves had come off. They were putting it right out there. <laughs> That's what we're doing here, you know. The first page I opened was uh, Akhenaten. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. And then, Synchronicity. Yeah. And so you realize on that level as well how we're all being programmed. So there was scholasticism with the Club of Rome and the idea that the limits to growth. And so now we're sending messages to our poor little children in their garbage cans, dumpsters outside their schools that say, Earth first, or such, such victim mentality where you need to, you know, it sounds like a good message, but once you start to depict things and understand things, then you realize that that really diminishes the human soul because you're thinking about how you're killing the planet which isn't true about humanity it's the structure right yeah and it's also a reinforcement of the old system that was put in place with compulsion schooling to uh, cause the new generation to view the old one as obsolete and dangerous that right. needs to be subjugated and you know disempowered or they might get in back in the you know back in the driver's seat and take this whole thing over the falls you know what i'm saying so it's like that same program of separating the new generation from the older one which is like completely contrary to human consciousness we you know we're designed to be bro you know to have you know uh, f family units that convey you know the tradition and knowledge from one generation to the next that's that's part of our human society you know it's part of the way that things have functioned for millennia, you know, but they've, they've, with the industrialization of our society, they need to stop that process because they need to disempower the individuals. He's, he's more malleable. He's more uh, controllable if he's disempowered. Okay, now the next biggest complaint with uh, speaking with someone from a secret society is the good old boy network and how that this limited group gets access to everything as opposed to the rest of humanity. No, yeah, not only access, but they get a free ride uh, from the normal infractions of social life. You know, they be able to uh, commit uh, crimes and get away with it, and then also function on that level, knowing they can do things and get away with it. Therefore, it would raise the bar of uh, of the kind of behavior. You know, like uh, for example, I read once that Bill Gates, uh, when he was still before he retired from Microsoft, was earning uh, 1.4 million dollars an hour, and I thought, wow. A guy like that driving down the road could afford, because literally it would cost him money if he got delayed in a traffic violation. It would be more advantageous for him to just keep driving, get to his job, and if they wanted to arrest him and, and fine him and all that, it would be cheaper because he'd make the money. You know, he could make millions of dollars in the in the the, the hours that would go by. You know, it was just uh, I recognize that a system like that, people can begin to see themselves as beyond or above the uh the the regular norm yeah and then that yeah. shifts into the police force where they feel like they're not even human anymore and that there are simply targets in front of them that and you get the same good old boy and then those same boys inside of there all know the the secret grips as well sure absolutely absolutely so what's going on with the permaculture movement too in lawrence how's that coming along well, it's pretty amazing what's going down. I, it just seems to be a spontaneous genetic event, or, or I don't know, but everybody's turning their lawns into gardens. Uh, awesome. Everywhere I look, yeah. Uh, Lawrence is not going to suffer a food shortage. It won't be possible. We personally oh, no, have 450 plants now, blueberries, you know, squash, whatever. It's all going in my front yard, and I don't even own the place, you know, I rent. Uh, but we've transformed it into a, a food forest, and we're trying to, you know, do it all over the place, too. We're doing some guerrilla gardening. We've been making seed blocks and letting them sprout and then rushing them out and digging them into the, the parks and stuff so watermelon will grow. Uh, and then I'm founding this Friends of Freeman network, and that's my next big gig is to get everybody to come over and subscribe and we're going to form a network of all of the different farms uh, and people of this uh, nature so that we can all share and visit and get anywhere we want to go. Because I seem to travel free all my life, and I've traveled with many people that get to travel free all their lives. And it's because of friends and friendship and everybody. It's a win-win situation. So... <clears throat> I want everybody to connect. And everyone that I've listened to and met from my show has been one of the most wonderful, amazing human beings I've ever seen. They all have talents beyond. 
So now I'm going to get them all together and tell them, hey, you need to be, you know, meeting with this person or that person because the most common thing I hear is I have no one to talk to about this stuff. And I'm like, man, I know six people in your city, you know, so this is going to be a network to bring everybody together. And I hope you guys will get a profile on there, too. Uh, it's not on yet. It'll be on next week, but you can subscribe already on FreemanTV.com. Oh, you can count on it. Definitely. I, I, I would love it's to gonna get It's going to be involved. worth it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm really excited. I think it's great. And I think that what's happened here with the manifestation of all this is just, I'm just so glad to be a part of it. I really am. And I want to thank you personally, Freeman. Thank you so much for the opportunities that you've, uh, you've laid in our laps as well. I know you spoke about the synchronicity and the randomness with which this all happened for you. And I think that you recognize that and have like, uh, you know, paid it forward, so to speak, you know, to coin a phrase. You've used that same, that same method to bring us into this. And that's what makes it genuine and sincere as far as I'm concerned. And I agree with you about, you know, I too traveled across America twice with five dollars in my pocket. You know, my mom asked me, what, what, where, you know, how are you going to get anywhere? Where I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to hitch rides. And, uh, and this was back in the nineties, of course, but, uh, she said, well, what are you going to do, you know, if it rains? And I said, I'm, I'm going to get wet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. and she was just like, it was a moment of clarity for her. When she realized that I was existing in a whole different realm than her. You know, the world, yeah. of the nine to five, and the and the you know meeting deadlines and meeting you know uh, minimum payments and uh, you know due dates and all that. You know, break just, the clock and burn the calendar, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those it's, are uh, tools of occult power that have been placed over your soul, and they prevent you know it, it, the the to the degree that we all allow ourselves to be enslaved by the constructs they provide that's the direct degree with which we will find ourselves enslaved you know <laughs> that we allow ourselves it's all back to us we have the choice don't we freeman it's all Absolutely. back to us our choice yep. well so you boy you must be tired you've uh, this is a full day for you huh Really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the third show in uh, about, what, four or five hours? <laughs> well, you know, we managed to go see the Green Lantern for St. John's Eve. Uh, or no, we went St. John's Day uh, because, you know, the Green Lantern symbol being the, the St. John's as recognized in all the lodges, the circle with the two lines. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. And I, I saw it, too, actually, last week. So. Right on. Yeah. And, and I thought it was good. Think? I thought it was good, didn't you? I, mean, well, I thought let it was me ask you what you think about this. Uh, you know, we know that Aleister Crowley and his belief, uh, love under will, uh, love is the law, love under will. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And this whole situation in the in the Green Lantern was based around will and fear. Yep. Fear and, and will. There was this obvious void of the word love. Because when he finally got back with the girl who he had ditched and got back to her, he should have told her he loved her, but it never came out of his mouth. Through all their misadventures and near-death experiences and everything else, they come through the end of the movie, and you feel, as they've discussed now, when we'll get to the magical properties, fear and will, uh, and never mentioning the word love, and, and here they are at the end of the movie, and the, the guy and the girl win, and they're together, and, and no word love it was just left empty and void and you felt it's miss you felt it missing but the ideas of will and fear these are the ones that are combined with the more satanic version of this type of philosophy the love under will uh love is the law i personally would say will under love in my philosophy yeah i, I you know it's it's pretty interesting that you bring that up i I was looking at it myself and I didn't come up with that analysis of it. I was thinking that you know it is uh representative at least at the time I was thinking it was representative of the two factions of the illuminators and the Illum Illuminati, where the one using fear to enslave versus the other using will or the activation thereof the human will you know uh but you make a very good point about the absence of love. And I'm wondering if it, you know, if it wasn't a deliberate, obviously a deliberate uh, attempt to f focus the individual on Crowley and not on the opposite of fear. Hey, you guys have a what would your life be like if you woke up each morning with new vitality, feeling better than you have in years, and you noticed a difference in your sleeping patterns, blood sugar levels, and had a sense of well-being overall? There's something that is changing thousands of people's lives, and you could be one of them. It's called Heart and Body Extract. 
Sharon Harris, co-creator of Heart and Body Extract, talks about the positive effects of Heart and Body Extract. What happens with the formula Heart and Body Extract is it's giving the body the necessary vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes, and phytonutrients so, so the body will heal itself. And yes, the body does have the ability to balance blood pressure, balance cholesterol, clean and unclog the arteries. It can also work on uh, balancing the circulation for diabetics. So the body is an amazing thing. It simply needs some help so it has the tools to heal itself. Heart and body extract gets results. To order your two-month supply, call now, toll-free at 866-295-5305. Order online at hbextract.com. Most Americans know the significance of July 4th, 1776. However, few know the importance of September 17th, 1787, the day the Constitution was written and adopted by our founders. Unfortunately, over 200 years later, this sacred document is under attack along with our beloved republic. Throughout the span of history, brave men and women have rallied behind banners which have served as symbols of liberty against the forces of tyranny. Today, we have the Constitution pride flag to show our support for the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, freedom, liberty, and justice for we, the people of the United States. Now available at www.1787flags.com. Get your very own Constitution Pride flag today and receive a free pocket Constitution with your order. www.1787flags.com, the official website of the Constitution Pride flag. That's www.1787flags.com. Feeling stressed, tired, lacking energy or lacking libido? Now you can take control of your healthcare goals in the privacy of your own home with the use of reliable, high-quality health products from Ideal Health in New Zealand. Conveniently delivered to your door anywhere in the world. You'll find our friendly health team offer well-researched health information plus the highest quality health products. We want to ensure you not only get the best value products available, but also ensure you get the fastest therapeutic results. With over 2,600 pages of health information and natural products, all compiled by our friendly naturopathic team. To take advantage of very special rates, click on the banner at AmericanFreedomRadio.com. And don't forget our convenient delivery service, Ideal Health New Zealand, leaders in alternative health. That's AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click on the Ideal Health New Zealand button. Proudly brought to you by the Vinnie Eastwood Show.com. Why buy long-term storage and emergency preparedness dried and dehydrated foods? Well, freeze-dried and dehydrated foods can be stored just about any place and will be ready when you need it, like in the event of a disaster that disrupts transportation. Grocery stores would be empty within three days. Bulk food purchases really make your dollars count. Buying in bulk, your cost per pound drops significantly. And it has 7 to 30 years long-term shelf life. No refrigeration is required either, so if the power goes out, your food is still safe. And you know, studies have shown that dehydrated foods are actually substantially more nutritious than either frozen or canned foods. The loss is only 3 to 5% of the original nutritional value of the food without added chemicals or additives, making this method of food preservation by far the best choice for natural, healthy eating. So log on to emergencypreparednessdirect.com. News and information you can trust. This is American Freedom Radio. Freedom, freedom, American Freedom Radio. Radio. American Freedom Radio. Listen to Time for Hemp, hosted by Casper Leach. Afternoons, Monday through Friday, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Central. Only on American Freedom Radio.
Yes, we are. Welcome back, Radio Free Humanity. And um, I want to start off this segment. Um, I love it when you and Freeman get going, and I just don't want to jump in. But uh, I do, even though he's uh, off of the line, I want to express a real message of gratitude to Freeman for everything that he has done for us personally and everything that he does for all of his listeners with presenting information, presenting ideas, and ultimately presenting solutions. So definitely we want to say, you know, major thanks, major mahalos to Freeman. Uh, thanks a lot for everything, sir. And um, I wanted to jump in a little bit. Uh, I love it when you guys get going, man, because yeah. we had some of those – we had some of those child craft books when I was a kid. My grandparents had a little collection of them, and I would really love to uh, take a look at some of them now uh, in light of the information that Freeman had presented, because I remember them as being this kind of innocuous thing that shared Native American mythology and shared uh, wholesome activities that kids could do that you know didn't involve television, and they in in involved like knots or pioneering or you know camping skills or cooking and and so i'm really intrigued by the occult aspects that uh freeman presented something else in that vein that i remember ultimately being positive i, I don't know if you ever saw these uh foxfire books that were uh that were out and i haven't seen any of them for years but they're uh i think maybe a wikipedia article explains them but they were foxfire was sort of like a kind of like a child craft annual but they were like these back to nature kind of books and they would present information on camping beekeeping uh they were based out of uh, appalachian lore so i'm sure there was some appalachian like occult lore that was presented in those books as well but um they had a lot of great information in them and and even the name uh foxfire i think was for some kind of a bioluminescent fungus that exists up in the um, in that area of the country, possibly in the Appalachian Mountains. But uh, very interesting information, and I'm, I'm glad Freeman was able to share that. And, oh, when you guys were too short on that segment, um, uh, the Green Lantern stuff, I haven't seen the movie yet. To be honest, like, DC, it always seems to me like they ruin their superhero movies, because I'm a big fan of the comic books, having read them a lot since I was a kid, and it seems to me that in nearly every case, DC just kind of ruins their superhero movies. Like, by and large, Marvel's movies kind of maintain the mythos, maintain the character integrity of their superheroes when they translate them to film, for the most part, by and large. But like DC, it's like they ruin every superhero movie they do. They they have nothing to do with the character. Like, for example, Batman, he's supposed to be the world's greatest detective, but I don't ever see any detective work going on in Batman. It's all flash and bang and fights and, and with the green... <laughs> Good Seriously. point. Yeah, you're right. You're and, absolutely right. Or, or another brief example is Superman Returns. Like, Superman would never desert planet Earth without even saying goodbye to Lois Lane. It's ludicrous. And and it's like the complete degradation of the Superman archetype, and or you know another one is is a uh, is John Constantine from the comic book Hellblazer. He's the whole thing about it is he's a uh, he's a sorcerer in England, and the comic book starts out in Thatcher era England. So it's got this backdrop of this like bleak working class. The guy's a former punk rocker, and just. Everything he touches turns to crap. But then when they make the movie Constantine, they make him an American based out of L.A., and it's freaking Keanu Reeves who plays him. <laughs> so, it, so it's like no, it resembles – and another one would be League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, a great series of comic books. Oh, excellent, and, excellent. And the movie is, is horrible and bore you know, a, merely a superficial resemblance to the comic book thing. So I'm just really hesitant to go see Green Lantern because I know that it will probably ultimately anger me. And um, the Freeman's analysis was very interesting. It does it does make me want to check it out, and I can totally see what he's saying about the void. Their love does come into it uh, in the recent mythos. They created a whole series of lanterns of different colors, like. 
there was a, originally the Green Lanterns, whose power was will, and then Sinestro started his own core where the power is fear, and then now there's a whole like rainbow of colors. So there's like a Red Lantern whose power is rage. There's an Orange Lantern, who, lantern whose power is avarice. Um, there's now. Uh, oh, and of course, can I can I just interject something right here for a moment too? Yeah. Uh, you know, co- color obviously. Yeah, color is huge in ritual high magic. I mean, your, your color is all the intention and the will that we spoke of earlier uh, is representative symbolic. You know, sim, um, the symbolism of color is it plays a huge part in it. So, color magic, uh, the fact that they're utilizing it for the storylines, no coincidence. I don't think. Oh, no doubt, and they even use the mythology. Like, there's a, a purple or an indigo and a blue lantern core. And I, I kind of, I can't remember the exact basis of those, you know, those being the colors of our, our higher chakras. But one of those, I can't, I think it's one of the blue lanterns. I mean, he's like a elephant kind of guy. I mean, he, he looks like Ganesh, basically. And, and it's obvious, you know, uh, to, in that. But there is an, a lantern core uh, that's based on the power of love, the star sapphires. Oh. And their whole thing is love. And, um, Carol Ferris, I think that's the name of Hal Jordan's girlfriend. Um, she becomes a star sapphire, and sometimes they are like controlled by their power of love. They lose their their willpower. But lately, you know, and and it's sort of like it's almost like sort of like soap operas. Um, the way that Hal Jordan and Carol Ferris, like the way they get separated, you know, it's like the female and the masculine principle complete each other. So in the movies, they always tear them apart. So these, you know, these uh, archetypes are sort of torn apart within ourselves as we watch the film. And uh, and it even, because we identify with the characters, um, it kind of subtly creates, like, conflict within our own relationships as, as we watch these films. And uh, so I'm really hesitant to go check out the Green Lantern film because I saw, you know, I, I saw... League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, and it was just a waste of my time and my money, and I don't, I'll probably, maybe I'll check out a bootleg online of Green Lantern. Yeah, or, you know, wait till, yeah, you can, there's other alternatives to, I would, you know, probably would want, not want to spend full price. You know, it's just, <laughs> just for that, for that, for prudency's sake, I guess. So, hey, should we uh, jump back into it, kind of? Yes, uh, with- absolutely, absolutely. Let's get right back to where we left off before Freeman call. We were speaking, uh, just reviewing what we've covered and what we're going to continue to cover. So your first show then as a solo host, guest hosting for Freeman, was on March 5th, I believe. And you discussed some news and some open lines and uh, did some analysis. I, I remember, I think I was working that day, so I wasn't able to join you, but I, I was listening in live. Yeah, it was a great show. Uh, took calls, uh, great questions, great callers, a lot of thoughtful reflection. It was really good. I thought it was a, a great show. And then your second show was on March 12th, and you were talking about uh, Atlantis and uh, uh, forbidden archaeology and, and suppressed histories. Yeah, I thought that in light of the fact that they had had that uh, a news item about the finds on the southern shores of Spain, it might be a good time to take a look at I've done such such an, uh, an abundant amount of research in the subjects of uh, lost histories and ancient archaeology and forbidden archaeology, and especially Atlantis is just a prominent feature in all that. I thought it would be a good idea to just go through that, and uh, I think it worked out well as well. I, I didn't uh, – I wasn't uh, – I was hoping for more uh, caller participation on that one. Um, uh, we got a little bit, but it, it, I guess, uh, you know, maybe – uh, there wasn't as many people who had something to to throw in there that night. And I think I joined you briefly on that show. I remember I dipped out of work, and I, I think I gave you my. Uh, you wanted me to do a Pacific Rim report on sure. the uh, on the tsunami, and I shared that as well as a couple brief thoughts on the uh, forbidden forbidden uh, archaeology aspect. You spoke about the river that swallows humans or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there, I was just, I was, uh, one of my friends online was saying that uh, there's some of those in uh, America, too, on, on uh, the continent, and, and their, uh, their tribes had uh, talked about those rivers, and, and they were talking about how science had said it wasn't for sure, and then finally science had to admit, okay, it, it does happen. Well, 
the things that lurk in the rivers of America. I'll never forget the old story. I was living in Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, somebody had driven a car off the bridge that crosses uh, the bridge that connects Covington, Kentucky, and Cincinnati, Ohio. And there's the Ohio River in between, which comes down from Cleveland. <laughs> I'll come back to that on the other side. Totally. So everybody, just stay tuned. Uh, Radio Free Humanity on American Freedom Radio. We'll be right back. Woo! Now you and your family and friends can enjoy the cleanest, most delicious, and healthy drinking water anytime, even while traveling, camping, at sporting events, or in emergency situations. The Berkey Light removes bacteria, cysts, parasites, and harmful chemicals to below detectable levels. It also reduces nitrates and unhealthy minerals like lead and mercury, while leaving in the beneficial and nutritional minerals your body needs. Berkey Light is so powerful, it can even purify raw, untreated water from remote lakes and streams. And the optional PF2 filters even remove fluoride. The Berkey Light LED, with its rechargeable lighting system, can be used as a nightlight or a camp light. To view or purchase your Berkey Water System and replacement filters, please visit American Freedom Radio's website at AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click the Berkey banner. Once again, that's AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click the Berkey Water banner. Not yet available in Iowa. Do you realize every day we are being put under constant stress from wireless radiation? What's worse is that you don't even know that it's happening. It puts as much stress on our body as if we had a constant viral infection, draining our energy and sapping our strength, or just making us irritable and fatigued. These wireless fields are being emitted from computers, microwaves, mobile phones, power lines, and any electrical appliance. Now there is a solution. A group of research engineers in New Zealand have come up with an active shielding device that shields you from wireless radiation at a cellular level. Blue Shield comes in three models, a household, portable and USB that plugs into any computer. The great thing about Blue Shield is it is very affordable and guaranteed to last. A one-off purchase will see you being protected for years to come. Visit AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click on the Blue Shield banner. Blue Shield, brought to you by the VinnieEastwoodShow.com Following a radiological or nuclear event, radioactive iodine may be released into the air and then be breathed into the lungs. Radioactive iodine may also contaminate the local food supply and get into the body through food or through drink. When radioactive materials get into the body through breathing, eating or drinking, the thyroid gland quickly absorbs the chemical. Radioactive iodine absorbed by the thyroid can then injure the gland. But you can protect yourself with use potassium iodide, which acts to block radioactive iodine from being taken into the thyroid gland and can help protect this gland from injury. To take advantage of very special rates, click on the banner at AmericanFreedomRadio.com. And don't forget our convenient delivery service, Ideal Health New Zealand, leaders in alternative health. That's AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click on the Ideal Health New Zealand button. Proudly brought to you by the Vinnie Eastwood Show.com. My name's John, and I've been having problems with my blood pressure for years. My doctors tried everything without much success. I heard about Extendivite from a friend and thought, why not give it a try? It's been three months now. My doctor's very pleased with how my blood pressure is finally coming down. I have a lot more energy than I've had in a long time. It's working for me. For 12 years now, I've been helping people. My name is Don Wiskin, and I want you to know Extendivite works. If you're looking for more energy or just want to be as healthy as you can, now is the time to join the growing list of real people benefiting from Extendivite. 
To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extend No rules. No rules. No taboo topics. No taboo topics. No fear of doom. No fear of doom. We are. We are. American Freedom Radio. American Freedom Radio. so much i can keep listening to it but it'll go on for a long time we're back uh it's great to be here we're just going over our our former shows on the free zone just for clarity's sake and to set the groundwork and the pace and the momentum of this new project of ours radio free humanity so without any more delay uh jack would you like to continue where we left off Sure. So March 26th, we were going to have our first interview with Carol Croft and Don Croft. We had a little snag on that one. So I think we uh, we talked story a little bit, the two of us, and then uh, we had some open lines. And we did sort of lay groundwork for that show because we discussed uh, Organite a little bit and gifting. And then our next show, April 2nd, we did have our first interview with Don and Carol Croft. And uh, we did have some interesting, uh, some interesting interference there in the beginning, but we got through that, and we had a good interview with the two of them. I thought um, they told me that it was one of their best interviews they'd done, and that was really gratifying to hear. And I think we shared some good information on that one. And yeah, that was excellent. I, I loved that. Was one of my favorite shows. I, I, I can't wait to have them back on. I'm sure they'd be willing to come on and continue our dialogue. Uh, I think we really made good good uh, close associates there as far as in this in this endeavor that we've got going on they could be you know allies in the cause for seeking truth and they I think that they bring a unique clarity because of their experiences they have a very unique perspective and I think that they what they bring to the table is useful to for for getting a well-rounded picture of what's going on truly truly self-empowerment say, absolutely is we can't we can't just uh give ourselves give our power away to someone else it's up to ourselves to 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 help each other yeah i mean they're they're like uh you know uh, they're pioneers in their field really i mean that's what it comes down to i mean there will be 
I honestly believe that, or I hope that one day, you know, people will look back on the gifting movement as as a turning of the tide in in the, in the movement back towards Gaia and back towards humanity's true original potential. Definitely, definitely, balancing the energy. So then, gosh, I guess the week after that was April 16th, and that was uh, you and me had a good talk on that one. We attempted to sort of uh, clarify some of our goals, and we had a discussion. We we took some calls on that one. That was the one we don't have to touch on it too much, where we uh, discussed the uh, whole quote unquote controversy that was raised with uh, Frater X. And uh, anything you would have to say about that show on the 16th? Um, yes, yeah, so this is the one where Bob Tuscan called in, right? Yes, yeah, good this show. Is a, this is a memorable show for us. I mean, we have it on good knowledge that this is the show that really uh, made American Freedom Radio aware of us. And uh, I was told personally that it was the way we handled the subject and the the uh, you know the interview that just ad hoc interview that happened, totally unplanned, and how we you know. Uh, the American Freedom Radio producers, they believed that they were very impressed with our ability to, to take that situation and take the high road. I mean, there was definitely potential for anyone to get defensive or to start, like, you know, uh, just uh, being put off by the approach of the, the others who were questioning my, uh, you know, whether or not I was William Morgan for one thing and, and just my intentions for another. And part of the whole... Uh, the, the, the perspective that Freeman uh, was trying to bring awareness to of the witch hunt mentality, you know, the idea that someone's automatically evil just because they're a member of uh, a Freemasonry, you know, or they're automatically, you know, a Luciferian or whatever. But that aside, putting that aside for a moment, just the, the I think that I was very satisfied with, um, taking the high road and just answering Bob's questions honestly. And, and also I think that we, we may have made a friend with Bob because I think he could sense our sincerity, you know, and, and that uh, I, I've spoken with him since then, you know, and I hope to meet him in Philadelphia at the Tesla Science uh, celebration. So I'm looking forward to meeting him face-to-face. And I really believe that when people come together and look each other in the eyes, you know, you, you, you can't help but, hope and expect for a positive exchange, you know, from, from true, sincere, you know, people who are coming with good intentions. Yeah, and, and not to pat ourselves on the back, because we're all on a journey here, and we're all here to help each other out, and Bob definitely helped us out, you know, by calling in and being sincere sincere himself. So we owe him, you know, a big thanks for calling in and sharing a discussion with us, you know. And Absolutely, I agree. I agree 100%. And so, and that was a good that that was a good show. I remember listening to it that week, and I was really satisfied with with our job as hosts. Um, not that not that we're great, you know, because we're we're just starting off here. So I know we're going to stumble and trip here and there, but you know, me and Freighter X are here to lift lift each other up when when one of us uh, crashes. Absolutely, um, absolutely. And. So then the week after that was April 23rd, and that was when we had the Crofts on for a second appearance. I remember it seemed like we had such good momentum with them, and there was so much material we didn't get to cover the first time that we wanted to have them back to really kind of follow up and really kind of get into depth with things. And that interview I was really satisfied with, just that they got to bring some really good information. Because it's not about us asking somebody questions, it's it's about what what does our guest have to bring to the table? And they really did bring a lot of powerful information to the table on that show on the 23rd. Yeah, and we were able to actually, uh, you know, take some calls too. That was great as well. And then we we ended on a major high note with uh, guest hosting Freeman's show. It was uh, April 30th. We got to speak to John Lamb Lash of uh, metahistory.org. Dot com? Dot org. Dot org. Oh, yeah. All right. Yep, dot org. Oh yeah, that was such a high note. I mean, I uh, I'm still floating from that one. That was just so great. Uh, a personal best as far as getting in to just have a conversation with John Lamb Lash, being such a fan of his work and you know a follower of his visionary uh, unfoldment. I would say of the the subject matter that's covered in the Nagamati Library. 
as well as all the other material he's looked at, the world global mythology that he's processed. I mean, this this man is a phenomenon. And I, I, I've since that interview, I've gone back to metahistory.org and I've read even more. Uh, and I'm just further blown away. I, mean, we could, we, I can't wait to have him back on to not only hear about his planetary tantra, but to ask him several questions concerning his Grail mythos. That I've the new stuff that I've read about the the quest for the Holy Grail. Which I, I wow, we could do a whole series of shows on what he's covering there. It's just amazing. But it's all the stuff that we did hit upon in the show. It's just more elaborate. Totally, totally, and fascinating creative mythology. The stories that he brings. They, you know, it, different stories will hit different people in different ways when they explore his website. But there's something for everybody there. Yeah, I agree. So that wraps up our our review of the past of what we did. And again, thanks to Freeman for inviting you to step in. And, and thanks to you for inviting me to join you. So let's take it. To the present, then, let's kind of explore what we want to do with Radio Free Humanity here on AFR. Uh, now, I had a dedication I kind of liked, um, and I shared this with you a while back. I don't know if you remember it, but I, I was reading a book I w that I found at the uh, Washburn Library there in Topeka, and I really liked this dedication, and I wanted to share it. Um, it said, To those noble men and women of all time and all place, who hold in esteem and help perpetuate the true values of great books and inspirational art, who revel in the glorious beauties and wonderment of nature, and who cherish the delights of simple living. And that's the dedication to a book called Symbols, Our Universal Language by Eva C. Hangen, Professor Emeritus of English Literature and Language, uh, University of Wichita, published Wichita, Kansas, 1962. And, of course, the University of Wichita is now uh, WSU, Wichita State University. And, gosh, I wish she, she was still around. I'd love to speak to her. And I just really like that, uh, that dedication because it kind of sums up a lot of uh, important things for me. Yeah, I agree. I had something I wanted to read, too, if you don't mind. Go for if, it. Uh, it, it. It's... Uh, I came across it when I was reading some of the material. I'd gone back through and looked at some Joseph Campbell from the creative uh, mythology book that he wrote. It's a series of uh, Mass of God series, I believe is what it's from. Um, but it, it's a little thing that he asked the question, what then is the wasteland? And I thought it was good to look at it as uh, something we want to see not occur. This is the, you know, like the... The negative virtue, if you will, but it's, it's still uh, a poignant and powerful little piece here. It's real, real quick, though. So what then is the wasteland? It is the land where myth is patterned by authority, not emergent from life, where there is no poet's eye to see, no adventure to be lived, where all is set forth, all and forever. Utopia. Again, it is the land where poets languish and priestly spirits thrive, whose task it is only to repeat, enforce, and elucidate cliches. Huh. And that, awesome. I think, you know, that's, that's where we're, we're steadily rushing headlong towards that state, you know, with uh, our information age and our so-called, you know, uh, uh, faster than light speed of travel of information. I think we're we are unfortunately even in this time when we're supposed to be have more information at, at our fingertips than ever, ever before as a species. I think we are uh, in greater darkness now than than at some other points in history. That is true, but you know it's it's just there to uh, for us to transcend it and Absolutely. to help each other out. And I know that that's sort of our idea with uh, Radio Free Humanity is to help each other out. I don't. I know I hadn't discussed this with you, but I kind of had an idea for a motto of the show. Um, and my idea for our show motto, and we can discuss this, you know, and decide if it would be apt. But is uh, create a peaceful and free world. And uh, I notice I put that in the imperative because I'm asking you, the listener, to create a peaceful and free world. And I'm asking you to define that for yourself because it's not up to us as the hosts to define that for you. It's up to you to define that for yourself. 
and help out yourself and your family and your friends and your community. I like it. I think it's a great and inspirational uh, uh, vision for everyone. And I think it's, uh, I like it. That'll be our show motto, creative, peaceful, and free world. Cool. Cool. Absolutely. I, I know I just sort of sprung that on you. <laughs> No, I think it's uh, I think it's good. I really do, and I think it says it, it's simple and, it, and it's uh, it, it's to the point. It's proactive. And, and I know here, want. yeah, totally. And I know here at Radio Free Humanity, we're hoping to share what we know, our experiences, our research, and you know, to have discussions that inspire other people to think and have discussions among themselves, like all the great folks are doing in the chat room right now. Yeah. Absolutely. And just bringing people together. I mean, uh, there are times when, uh, like you said earlier on about people feeling, and, and I mentioned it too, about people feeling a, a sense of obligation to participate in this dialogue by calling in and, and by bringing what, what inspires them or what, what notion that they may have come upon in the midst of our dialogue because they help to fill in the whole picture. They help to bring clarity to this puzzle that we're forming you know that we're we're, we're taking it's like you know like uh, the little uh, jigsaw puzzles you know the each person's perspective could be like a piece that without that one piece the image is not clear what we're working towards isn't isn't clear you know it's obscured and it's limited and yes. so that's why each person is is a part of this an integral part of this and and by by partaking of this, they help to bring clarity to it. We all grow, and, and that's something I put in our um, in our introduction on the uh, blog site was about uh, participating, not just leading others, but being led down this road towards the truth too. You know, because there, are, I mean, we've uh, we had a call when I went on Freeman's show a couple weeks ago. He asked me to come on to promote this show, and uh, we we had a caller call in that was. Phenomenal. I mean, what he was talking about, I hadn't heard anything like this, and I was just really amazed by what he was saying. I took notes from what he was saying, and it, it you know, it's just one of those things that I was just really, you know, delightfully surprised that somebody was coming at this from a totally different perspective and had done some real uh, interesting work, you know. And, and that's something that comes from just a you know random caller calling in, you know, that never would have happened. Totally, totally, and it's. And it's that dialogue. There's that quote um, I, from John Lash's website. I read. I think it was on the. Uh, I think it was the 16th show, and where he's saying that you know we need dialogue. Um, beliefs that we've acquired can be changed by dialogue with others, and that's what's really revolutionary is having dialogue, which can engender belief change. And I remember Lash said. Um, it, it's easy to talk about change, but it's more difficult to change the way we talk about ourselves and experiences and to try to get a more cogent and effective language. And coming together and talking, that's that's what we're, we're going to do on this show. Okay. Well, it sounds like we're coming up on another break, so everybody stick around till the other side, and we'll get back with uh, Radio Free Humanity on AFR Radio. Thank you, and stay tuned. What would your life be like if you woke up each morning with new vitality, feeling better than you have in years, and you noticed a difference in your sleeping patterns, blood sugar levels, and had a sense of well-being overall? There's something that is changing thousands of people's lives, and you could be one of them. It's called Heart and Body Extract. Sharon Harris, co-creator of Heart and Body Extract, talks about the positive effects of Heart and Body Extract. What happens with the formula Heart and Body Extract is it's giving the body the necessary vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes, and phytonutrients so, so the body will heal itself. And yes, the body does have the ability to balance blood pressure, balance cholesterol, clean and unclog the arteries. It can also work on uh, balancing the circulation for diabetics. So the body is an amazing thing. It simply needs some help so it has the tools to heal itself. Heart and Body Extract gets results. To order your two-month supply, call now, toll-free at 866-295-5305. Order online at hbextract.com. The First Amendment and the Bill of Rights limits the government's power by ensuring freedom of speech and preserves the rights of the people. Every day that passes, our rights gradually slip away. It's time to take a stand and let the government know that we are tired of losing our rights. 
LibertyStickers.com will allow you to express your rights and allow millions of people to see you stand up for what you believe in. LibertyStickers.com carries the largest selection of bumper stickers online, ranging from political to humorous. As always, you can find your favorite stickers that protest the war and the president. Don't see what you're looking for? Liberty Stickers will custom make stickers that will get your message across for all Americans to see. Go to LibertyStickers.com and see pre-made stickers that will get everyone talking. That's LibertyStickers.com. Or call 877-873-9626. Liberty Stickers, the world's most dangerous stickers. Are you suffering from issues related to angina pain, high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, unbalanced cholesterol, irregular heartbeats, clogged arteries? If so, you are not alone. Millions of people are suffering from one or more of these problems. If you'd like to live your life free of sickness, pain, and fear, live your life with increased vitality, energy, and youthfulness, and experience your body healing itself, then this might be the most important message you'll ever hear. An effective 100% organic nutritional supplement is now available. Heart and Body Extract is an exclusive formula of wild-crafted and organic herbs. It is extremely effective and starts to work within days. Get your Heart and Body Extract today by visiting heartandbody.com or by calling 866-295-5305, 866-295-5305 or heartandbody.com. Why buy long-term storage and emergency preparedness dried and dehydrated foods? Well, freeze-dried and dehydrated foods can be stored just about any place and will be ready when you need it. Like in the event of a disaster that disrupts transportation, grocery stores would be empty within three days. Bulk food purchases really make your dollars count. Buying in bulk, your cost per pound drops significantly. And it has 7 to 30 years long-term shelf life. No refrigeration is required either, so if the power goes out, your food is still safe. And you know, studies have shown that dehydrated foods are actually substantially more nutritious than either frozen or canned foods. The loss is only 3 to 5% of the original nutritional value of the food without added chemicals or additives, making this method of food preservation by far the best choice for natural, healthy eating. So log on to emergencypreparednessdirect.com. Welcome to the world's meeting place. American. Practically narcotic. Freedom. Oh, yes. I like very much. Radio. You're an American institution. American Freedom Radio. Truth Brigade Radio. Live Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 p.m. Only on AmericanFreedomRadio.com. The truth has just gotten hotter.
Aloha. We are back on uh, Radio Free Humanity. My name is Jack. I'm with Freighter X. Oh, man, uh, that song, The Left Arm of Buddha by uh, White, the Waitiki Seven, that takes me back to uh, when uh, you and uh, Mater X and myself and my brother uh, got to see the debut of the Waitiki Seven at, at uh, Lawrence, Kansas, for the 500th episode of the Retro Cocktail Hour, man. Those, that was a heady night. Oh, yeah. He, that is an awesome song. I'm so glad we that we uh, put that on the on the show. That's such a great song. I, I, I didn't, I'm glad we let it play too. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and I think maybe the live version of that is posted online. And uh, there's Lopaka Cologne doing those. Uh, I, I think they're I don't know what they're called. The drum rolls on the congas. Where uh, my brother's a percussionist and was explaining like how hard it is to do. And uh, yeah, so if you guys look up Waitiki um, on YouTube, there are quite a lot of clips there. What a great and, night uh, that was, wasn't it? <laughs> that was awesome. That was so that great. That was awesome. And definitely some radio-free humanity going on there because it was oh, just yeah. so uh, it's a creative play, like uh, Freeman was talking about. Yeah, I remember just sitting there at the tables drinking our little, you know, uh, umbrella drinks, and we are you know, wearing uh, Hawaiian shirts, and there was people dancing on the dance floor in front of the band who were, like, dressed in traditional exotica garb. You know, it was just, it was like a, a little time capsule. It was, it was great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like seeing Martin Denny or Les Baxter live. And, oh, man, thanks to host uh, Daryl Brogdon for putting that on. That was that was just one of the, one of the best shows ever in a, a really great, really great exotica band. Yeah, anybody who's interested in hearing some quality Exotica weekly, they should check out, what is it, KPR? W, uh, is, just, is, if you just look up a uh, Google Retro Cocktail Hour and yeah, you'll okay. find it. It's on Kansas Public Radio. Yeah, Kansas and, Public Radio. Yeah, that's that's a great uh, website, with, and they're live every Saturday night, right? Yep, yep. So, okay, so speaking of live radio... So we are in the present now. We're discussing what our plans are going to be with Radio Free Humanity. So I think you and me had talked about how we're going to discuss current events, news, and our goal is to provide some commentary, to connect some dots, to share our perspective on what we see going on with uh with this stage play that they put on called the news or called politics or entertainment. Entertainment, which we know is defined as that which captivates the mind, to hold the mind captive from the Latin. Yeah, sorcery, sorcery. And, and also, you know, like we said earlier, we're here to try to share our solutions and share, share some alternatives to negative situations that are going on and our listeners hopefully will call in and, and share some of their perspectives on whatever we're discussing whatever we're talking about and we'll share some of their ideas for alternatives and solutions and and as you stated earlier if you're a listener and you have something good to share it's your duty to call in and share it because it'll help people out and someone listening may hear may need to hear exactly what you have to say. Absolutely. I agree. And is there anything you would add to what we're kind of going to do with our format? Um, share uh, what, what our goals were with uh, the show and some of our guests that you touched upon earlier? Well, um, I, 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 as far as the format goes, I thought that, you know, being literal – for a moment, I thought we'd have, uh, you know, we'd, t we'd devote a small amount of time. But I love the way that we are structured now uh, as a format with we're us having these segments with only three commercial breaks per hour. I think that's a great way to really give us some momentum in each segment. and We're not getting interrupted with a five minute in and then having a break and, and with less breaks per hour. So that's the excellent as far as format goes. And, oh. you know, what I thought we'd do on most occasions is have our, uh, you know, our, our news desk contribution in the in the beginning segment. We could take a moment and keep up on whatever current events we're following, which we can actually touch base on a little bit tonight too. And then, uh, you know, uh, have an opportunity like like you said, we'll have our introduction. We'll we'll, we'll give the vision of the show for the night, and then have an opportunity to 
back and forth it in the in our dialogue, and that is a way in which we will, uh, I think, round up, you know, round out the picture of uh, of what we're presenting, the topic of discussion. And then if we don't have a guest, we'll go right to open open phone lines and get people, as you said, get people involved and in, in sharing their perspectives and sharing their experiences and helping to bring uh, clarity to these subjects. And I think that being – one thing that you I would mention, uh, uh, add to what you're saying, this is a way for us to provide a forum, uh, a real-time forum for, uh, you know – Mutual validation amongst truth seekers. You know, those uh, people, and I'm just using that term because I think that it, we all understand it, but it is thrown a lot, around a lot. I don't want to, you know, take away from what we're saying, but those of us who are committed to understanding what's going on, you know, uh, and, and, you know, the three vital questions that we ask ourselves, you know, who are we, where do we come from, and, and where are we going as a species and as an individual, you know? Uh, that's something that I think we uh, deserves a lot of time uh, looking at and discussing. Definitely, definitely. And are we open to change? And are we open to considering new ideas and not just holding on to beliefs that can hold us back? Yeah, because we are changing. I mean, as a, as individual little drops of consciousness. I mean, our this whole experience is one of change, and we we are constantly be re, you know that I, I i'm suddenly made aware of the old adage about you never step in the same river twice you know uh that was something that was brought up in philosophy 101 back in the day you know they talked about that in college uh and the concept of the ever-changing conditions of, of reality and consciousness and how once a being is brought into something and exposed to certain concepts and constructs it, there, the consciousness is forever changed. You know, it, it never goes back. It's like the, the pickle jar effect. You know, you can never go back to a cucumber. Once you've been, <laughs> once you've been pickled, that's it. There's never going to be a cucumber again, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, we're all in that process of, uh, and like you said, you know, I, I personally, as a per, individually, as a, I, I've come out on uh, on these airwaves I've made myself aware, I made everyone aware of me as, as Freighter X, as an initiate of many different orders. But I am someone who's changing and growing too. And, you know, I, I've, uh, we'll get into a lot of specifics, but in general, I've, I've, uh, moving through my experiences in Freemasonry specifically, uh, I, I find myself steadily, uh, moving in a different direction maybe than, uh, than where the lodge or the fraternal orders and systems in general may be moving, you know, and I, it's so the the changes that are occurring within my own consciousness that I could uh, attribute to exposure of this show and of these kinds of shows and and of this kind of dynamic where I'm uh, being posed with questions and and it's it's causing me to have to you know take responsibility for myself and take responsibility for my choices and to exp you know sometimes to explain myself and uh, therefore. You know, I think it helps a person to shape their understanding of things when they're when they're called to explain themselves. You know, it gives you a different, you, you get a sort of different reality of a thing when you have to explain it than if you just are, you know, involved in something or have a, your own understanding of it. When right. somebody else, when somebody else asks you, well, why, why is that, or why are you doing that, or what does that mean, then you're, po you know, then you're challenged to elaborate. You know, and that's. You know, and to and, think a little more deeply. Yeah, to think a little more deeply and to, and to think out loud. To say something out loud is different than when you're just entertaining a notion in your mind. You know? Yeah. Because we put it out there for the universe to hear it, and then all of a sudden it's, uh, it changes. You know, it, it has a quantum effect. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that quote you said a second ago, um, I remembered – gosh, I can't remember who said it, you know, but I believe there was a beat author – that um, twisted the the old uh, maxim around and said you can't step in the same river once, and uh, you can't and step in the same river. Okay, yeah, yeah, like you can't step in the same river twice. And then some beat author twisted it around and said you can't even step in the same river once. Because <laughs> <laughs> think it, yeah. about it, it's it's yeah. moving, it's it's changing, you know. Totally. And I I know a uh, uh, Bruce Lee talked about you know being like water. And having a mind like water, and 
which can involve being open to change, being open to flow, to the ebb and flow of of uh, of the universe that's around the Taoist, us. The Tao is in the water course way, right? Oh, totally. Yeah, totally. Can and I so digress? For, can I digress for just a moment? We of when course. we were talking. What's a we were, show without a digression? <laughs> absolutely. When we were talking earlier about uh, when I was speaking about the it being a, a time of darkness and us being uh, surrounded by darkness, I wanted to kind of put a cap on that by saying this though it reminded me of a, of a scriptural reference because you said after I said that you said something like well you know it's all made to you know if we bring that awareness to our consciousness for a reason and I thought of this and I, it's in Isaiah in the Old Testament the prophet Isaiah I believe it's chapter uh, I want to say 45 maybe chapter 45 45 12 I'm not sure I'll, have to, I'll get back to you on that but the quote is I created the darkness so that you will know the light, and you will know that I am your Lord God. And that's what he says, and Isaiah says that as, as if speaking for, for uh, Yahweh. And the reason why I mention that is because that, to me, is a very Taoist or non-dualistic statement, in a sense. Because mm. it's, what it's really saying is, is that you, you know, you, you, we created the one so that you might know the other. You know, mm. and and then yeah. it goes back to Alan Watts, not the new Alan Watts, but the old Alan Watts, Alan W. Watts or whatever, uh, the writer guru, you know, from the 50s and 60s sure. from uh, from um, uh, Sausalito. He was originally from England, but he lived in Sausalito, California. But um, he talks about the separation of the of the uh, of the individual from the from the landscape, you know, and the idea that where does the person start and the world around him end, you know. Mm. And uh, and so it's just uh, deep thoughts, I guess. But I thought that that I wanted to bring that out, or you know, put that on the cap of what I'd said about the darkness, because that's what back to what we're saying. That's what this this show, the format we have, is. We we will explore the darkness, and we will point out, we will identify the things that we see, that we know are scary and weird, <laughs> you know, and the shenanigans of the uh, global power elite and. All that, but we will always meter it and match it with some sort of proactive, positive idea or construct. And, you know? and even though we don't agree on things, like you and me have a different perspective, our callers may have a different perspective, we're going to be polite and courteous and t try to help each other out by just sharing and talking. Because, you know, you, I mean, for clarity's sake, for our listeners, you know, you're an initiate of, um, of secret societies or and secret orders and i'm not you know but we can still be friends and i knew you long before you joined those orders and you know i, I wasn't going to turn my back on a friend just because he did did something that i wasn't too sure about but you know um it so just to folks listening you know we are different myself jack and freighter x we have different perspectives and we may not agree on everything but we're still going to be friends, and there's no need to be disagreeable. And that's the beauty of this this format, because part part of the format is the fact that you and I don't we we disagree about things, and it doesn't matter because humanity is going to disagree about things. But we have to stay together. We have to be united. Totally. And here's our uh, cue. So we're going to another break. Stick around for. A more Radio Free Humanity when we come back. Now you and your family and friends can enjoy the cleanest, most delicious, and healthy drinking water anytime, even while traveling, camping, at sporting events, or in emergency situations. The Berkey Light removes bacteria, cysts, parasites, and harmful chemicals to below detectable levels. It also reduces nitrates and unhealthy minerals like lead and mercury, while leaving in the beneficial and nutritional minerals your body needs. Berkey Light is so powerful, it can even purify raw, untreated water from remote lakes and streams. And the optional PF2 filters even remove fluoride. The Berkey Light LED, with its rechargeable lighting system, can be used as a nightlight or a camp light. 
To view or purchase your Berkey water system and replacement filters, please visit American Freedom Radio's website at AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click the Berkey banner. Once again, that's AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click the Berkey water banner. Not yet available in Iowa. This July 4th, come join patriots from all across the great land in eastern Pennsylvania for Freedom Palooza, a three-day festival of music and great speakers. Come party with the likes of former Congressman Jim Trafficant. Man, they railroaded that guy. Mark and Rowe. Hey, I saw him in Freedom Fascism. You want great rock? We got it. How about the most influential, hardest-working band in the movement today? Paper Freeze. We got the Amero. Friend the Ballad. And Killer. Doug Hall. A bunch of enemies. The Grunts. Kinetic Blue, Secret System Band, Scrap Metal Bomb, Rebel Inc. Man, that's a lot of bands. Get it out under the stars along the Delaware River like our founding fathers did before the Battle of Trenton. What else are you going to do this 4th of July? Sit around with family members you hate? Listen to your fat uncle tell the same stories he tells every year? No way, man. I'm going to Freedom Palooza. Go to FreedomPalooza.com for all the details. That's FreedomPalooza.com. Freedom Palooza. Feeling stressed, tired, lacking energy or lacking libido? Now you can take control of your healthcare goals in the privacy of your own home with the use of reliable, high-quality health products from Ideal Health in New Zealand. Conveniently delivered to your door anywhere in the world. You'll find our friendly health team offer well-researched health information plus the highest quality health products. We want to ensure you not only get the best value products available, but also ensure you get the fastest therapeutic results. With over 2,600 pages of health information and natural products, all compiled by our friendly naturopathic team. To take advantage of very special rates, click on the banner at AmericanFreedomRadio.com. And don't forget our convenient delivery service, Ideal Health New Zealand, leaders in alternative health. That's AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click on the Ideal Health New Zealand button. Proudly brought to you by the Vinnie Eastwood Show.com. It's July 4th, come My name's John. I've been having problems with my blood pressure for years. My doctor's tried everything without much success. I heard about Extendivite from a friend and thought, why not give it a try? It's been three months now. My doctor's very pleased with how my blood pressure is finally coming down. I have a lot more energy than I've had in a long time. It's working for me. For 12 years now, I've been helping people. My name is Don Wiskin, and I want you to know Extendivite works. If you're looking for more energy or just want to be as healthy as you can, now is the time to join the growing list of real people benefiting from Extendivite. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Online, all the time, your gateway to the world. A-F-R. American Freedom. Dark, funny, and mind-bending news. PSYOP Radio with Mac White and Smiles Lewis, Sundays at 7 to 9 p.m. Central, only on American Freedom Radio.
that little ditty is from Devo. That's off their uh, Greatest Misses album. And it's called Mongoloid. It's a great song. I just wanted to point that out. And uh, we are in our uh, final segment uh, of the night, I believe. So we are going to push on through. It's been a great night. Uh, I'm so glad uh, that everyone came out to listen. And I hope that you come back and... I hope that you're uh, real excited because we're all real excited about what's going on here, and it's just such an honor and a privilege to be part of this. So take it away, Jack. So, hey, um, what do you say about going to some phone lines? So, uh, our, Is that cool? We we got a little bit of time left. Maybe there's one or two callers that want to call in and share. Uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, the phone lines are open. Anybody that would like to call in, uh, 402 237 Two five two five. You know, we only have a little time left, but we'd love to hear from somebody if they'd like to call in and uh, and uh, you know just give a call and tell us what you think. So we'll uh, just see if uh, people start coming into the phone lines. They're up and running right now. Everything looks good. Like I said, the number is four zero two two three seven two five two five. And if you could call in Mater X, we'd like to speak to you since you've been involved from the beginning from our. Uh late night rap sessions that evolved from a few years ago into this show. Uh, do we have anybody in the queue now or let me see, I'll just check on that. I'm just uh actually relaying what you just said, so um no, we're still open. Open lines here. So anyways, I'm sure that someone will call in soon. What were you gonna say, Jack? So, a needle pulling thread. <laughs> oh boy, sound of music. <laughs> sound of music references. <laughs> Sorry, like Paul. Postman. That was the greatest part of that movie. The only thing that would calm the mob that was in the hopeless <laughs> was to put on another reel of sound of music, you know. Remember when they'd stop, they'd start throwing rocks at the projectioner, you know? <laughs> That's true. That was that was pretty surreal. ridiculous. So what a surreal moment though, you know? So, uh, Let's see. Uh, one more thing I thought we might cover in our final moments here before somebody calls in. Um, yep, we have a call now. Um, it's not it's not uh, Mater X, but we'll go Let's ahead bring and bring them on. Okay, so uh, area code seven eight five. You are live and radio free humanity. Hey, hey guys, uh, just. Calling to wish you well, enjoying the show tonight. Um, name, good Colin? times with Waitiki back in the day. Oh, excellent. Yes, what's your hey. name? Hey. This bro. is Brother Theodore. Hey. All right. Hey, Theo, how you doing, buddy? All right. How are you guys? Great. We are on the top of the world. Yeah, what, a, what an excellent show that was, wasn't it? Yeah, quite enjoyable. Um, so I look forward to future shows and checking in with you guys. Oh, oh I'm stuck about my TV, but yeah, our show is doing good too. <laughs> oh. yeah, folks, <laughs> folks, this is a uh, this is my brother calling in to join us. So this is very special. This is we are all about family here, and I got my family calling in to support me. So I really appreciate that, Theo Theodore. Um, it's an hey, well. Well, explain that uh, that uh, uh, thing that Lopaka was doing on the conga. That was like a, a drum roll? What what was that exactly? Uh, you were talking about uh, pitch bending, which you hit the drum, and uh, shortly after you use a fingertip to rub over the drum head, which lowers the lowers that boo kind of sound. Yeah, I remember that. And that's what he's doing on that left arm of Buddha track. Yeah, yeah. And it's definitely tough technique, hard to do. So speaking of tough techniques and hard to do, you uh so you just got back from a European tour, I believe, with the Fountain City Brass Band. Um anything to report from uh that side of the pond? Oh, um <laughs> not too awful much. A good trip. Uh went out to England and France, Belgium and Holland. Had an awesome performance at the uh, Normandy American Memorial. That was definitely a touching moment there. Awesome. That's great. And how's your yeah. uh, significant other doing? Oh, she's 
quite often, and the dog's doing quite well as well. Well, actually, you know, speaking of significant others, it looks like we have another caller on the line. So right. yeah, yeah, I think uh, uh, Mater X is calling in. So um, I guess we'll we'll head over to there. Do you have any final words of wisdom to share with us, Brother Theodore? Um, always send in positive energy. Excellent. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Come again. Yeah. Please stay tuned. Theodore, it's so good to talk to you. I hope you have a great yes, summer. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Rock on. All right. All great. Right. Have a great evening. Okay. So, Lots of uh, love, man. Lots of love. Without any uh, further delay, I believe my lady, Mater X, is on the line. Are you there? I am here, guys. Yep. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Hello. How's it going, Jack? Good, good. Thanks for calling in. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Just sitting here and um, enjoying the show. Well, we wanted awesome. to call you in and thank you for all your efforts, uh, behind the scene efforts, the moral support, the you know the fact that you've been uh, faithful to get on the chat line and try to help to steer our conversations and bring us information that people are trying to. You know, questions that are asked, and it, it, it's really awesome. We're so glad to have you. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. It's true. And we, and we couldn't do it without you, you know. I mean, it's a cliche, but it's true that behind every great man, there's an even greater <laughs> woman. And, <laughs> and you know, um, we you've been a part of this since the beginning when I used to hang out at your guys' house until... God, sometimes it, it'd be like four in the morning. We'd be up late nights talking, having our, our rap sessions with the three of us. And, and those were really special times, and I value them. And, you know, this show wouldn't exist without uh, you guys being there to support me and to uh, have our, our trialogues between the three of us back in Lawrence, Kansas. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really fun time. <laughs> Absolutely. It's amazing that the kids were able to sleep through all of that, too, because we would get going pretty uh, <laughs> pretty loud and long, you know? Ranting and raving. That is true. That so is any, true. anything, uh, any interesting little uh, pearls of, uh, of information that you might have gathered today that you want to share with us, Mater? Uh, no, I have uh, actually spent very little time... Um, why don't you tell everybody what you today. did today? Yeah, tell everybody what you did today. Well, I spent my morning at our local farmer's market and um, sold my wares, which is home-baked bread, with one of my best friends who happens to be Freighter's mother. <laughs> and um, yeah. we um, almost sold out, which we do pretty much every week. And it's such a great environment to, um, to be involved in because... Um, Everybody is so connected to to the earth, you know, and um, in bettering our relationships with each other and our planet, and um, trying to find better ways to feed ourselves and offer them to everyone. And um, it's a really wonderful thing to be involved in. Yes, and I get a lot of um, a lot of spiritual fulfillment by being involved in that. And that's a great outlet for me. And people like what I bake, so it's a good ego boost as well. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're doing is what we and Freeman and others like us are saying is you, you actually embraced an idea. You know, you and my mom, you got together and you, you embraced this idea and you manifested your own endeavor. You, you, you're self-employed, and that, that's awesome. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm getting proud of myself also. <laughs> I think we're coming, we're coming near the end of this. I don't know how much longer we got. Yeah, I think just a couple minutes. So, Mater X, thanks again for calling in. Lots of love to you. Um, any final words? Um, no, you guys are doing great. Um, I'll try and call in another time, and uh, hopefully I'll have a little bit more to share then. Absolutely. Oh, but I'm Anytime. definitely enjoying being on the chat line and getting to know the listeners, and I have a feeling that it's all just going to keep growing and growing, and you guys have a lot to offer as far as... Um, so say thought. we all. So say we all. <laughs> so say we all. Hey, Love you guys. 
Well, Thanks thank you, you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And stay tuned next week. We'll be back on Radio Free Humanity every Saturday, 10 to 12 on Central Standard Time. And thanks to uh, everyone listening. Thanks to the chat room. Thanks to Freeman. And thanks to everyone in our new family at American Freedom Radio. Thank you, American Freedom Radio. Have a great night, everyone. And we stay tuned. And we look forward to our future conversations. And remember, what's the motto? Create a peaceful and free world. That's right. Create a peaceful and free world, everyone. Good night. Don't forget, a psychiatrist is on duty 24 hours a day in the news room. Just up from the parking garage. Drink plenty of water when you take these. Now you can relax and return to your job. What would your life be like if you woke up each morning with new vitality, feeling better than you have in years, and you noticed a difference in your sleeping patterns, blood sugar levels, and had a sense of well-being overall? There's something that is changing thousands of people's lives, and you could be one of them. It's called Heart and Body Extract. Sharon Harris, co-creator of Heart and Body Extract, talks about the positive effects of Heart and Body Extract. What happens with the formula Heart and Body Extract is it's giving the body the necessary vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes, and phytonutrients so, so the body will heal itself. And yes, the body does have the ability to balance blood pressure, balance cholesterol, clean and unclog the arteries. It can also work on uh, balancing the circulation for diabetics. So the body is an amazing thing. It simply needs some help so it has the tools to heal itself. Heart and body extract gets results. To order your two-month supply, call now, toll-free at 866-295-5305. Order online at hbextract.com. Most Americans know the significance of July 4th, 1776. However, few know the importance of September 17th, 1787, the day the Constitution was written and adopted by our founders. Unfortunately, over 200 years later, this sacred document is under attack, along with our beloved Republic. Throughout the span of history, brave men and women have rallied behind banners, which have served as symbols of liberty against the forces of tyranny. Today, we have the Constitution pride flag to show our support for the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, Freedom, Liberty, and Justice for We the People of the United States. Now available at www.1787flags.com. Get your very own Constitution Pride flag today and receive a free pocket Constitution with your order. www.1787flags.com, the official website of the Constitution Pride flag. That's www.1787flags.com. Following a radiological or nuclear event, radioactive iodine may be released into the air and then be breathed into the lungs. Radioactive iodine may also contaminate the local food supply and get into the body through food or through drink. When radioactive materials get into the body through breathing, eating or drinking, the thyroid gland quickly absorbs the chemical. Radioactive iodine absorbed by the thyroid can then injure the gland. But you can protect yourself with use potassium iodide, which acts to block radioactive radioactive iodine from being taken into the thyroid gland and can help protect this gland from injury. To take advantage of very special rates, click on the banner at AmericanFreedomRadio.com. And don't forget our convenient delivery service, Ideal Health New Zealand, leaders in alternative health. That's AmericanFreedomRadio.com and click on the Ideal Health New Zealand button. Proudly brought to you by the Vinnie Eastwood Show.com. Why buy long-term storage and emergency preparedness dried and dehydrated foods? Well, freeze-dried and dehydrated foods can be stored just about any place and will be ready when you need it. Like in the event of a disaster that disrupts transportation, grocery stores would be empty within three days. Bulk food purchases really make your dollars count. Buying in bulk, your cost per pound drops significantly. And it has 7 to 30 years long-term shelf life. No refrigeration is required either, so if the power goes out, your food is still safe. And you know, studies have shown that dehydrated foods are actually substantially more nutritious than either frozen or canned foods. The loss is only 3 to 5% of the original nutritional value of the food without added chemicals or additives, making this method of food preservation by far the best choice for natural, healthy eating. So log on to emergencypreparednessdirect.com.
No rules. No rules. No taboo topics. No taboo topics. No fear of doom. No fear of doom. We are. We are. American Freedom Radio. American Freedom Radio. 